I'm Bob Stanky. So I have never, I've never been here before. So some of you recognize. I'm a big fan of Josh. Nice to see you in person. So, yeah, I, everything I've learned about Squarespace, I've learned through Josh. Um, so real quick, Bob, I've been with the Wolves for about a year and a half. Previous to that, uh, I was at Lifetime Fitness for three years. I headed up their entire social media effort. Um, before that, I've been in technology. I was a developer as a database analyst. So I've been in tech my whole career. Um, so real quick, I want to give those of you who are not Wolves fans a little bit of background because this is important because it kind of sets up how we use Google+. Plus. Join the NBA in 1989. This will be our 25th season. Play at Target Center a couple blocks away. Hopefully we get a renovation soon. Uh, currently have over 10,000 season ticket members. That is uh, a record high for us. Highest TV and radio distribution in team history. So every single one of our games next season will be televised. Every single game is on the radio. The number one question I get, what's it like to work for a pro basketball team? It's just like working for Lifetime, it's just like working for 3M, it's, it's the same thing. Operations are very similar, we have a finance department, marketing department, very similar, other than we have a couple of guys who walk around and make about $20 million a year. Uh, a strong history of innovation. A lot of people don't know the Timberwolves were the first team in the NBA to have a mobile app before the league even allowed mobile apps. So the Timberwolves had a mobile app, the league made them take it down. It was before I was there. Um, so strong history of innovation, and we hope to continue that, which is part of the reason why I'm here tonight, because I am all in on Google+. Plus. I have been personally all in on Google+, Plus. and when I start with the Wolves, added it to my strategic plan, because I feel it's got huge potential. So in sports, access is the key driver. When you think back, at least for me personally, I'm sure a lot of you too, when you wanted to you know, reach out to your favorite player, you had to drop a letter in the mail. This is my Kirby bucket card, which I'm lucky I got back because I think I sent probably 100, 150 different baseball cards to the Twins. That was the only one I ever got back, okay? A lot's changed. Now fans have huge access to players. But traditionally, traditional media has gotten all the love. Uh, you had to be one of these newspaper guys or radio guys to get this kind of access to Ricky Rubio. But technology, social media has changed the game. Now what we're doing is a player comes into our organization, we know they're a key driver to our success online, so we make sure we utilize that as much as possible. We're, we're on all the networks. We have to be because our fans who are worldwide now, the Timberwolves have the uh, most worldwide audience because of the diversity of our team. So we're on all different networks. We're even on foreign networks that, that we have to be on. Uh, last year we had two Russian players. So we're on, we on two different Russian social networks uh, because we're trying to interact with fans all over the world. So Facebook obviously is a big one for us. Twitter for the real-time game updates. You know, we'll tweet anywhere from 150 to 250 times a game. So during a two and a half hour span. Uh, we use Instagram and Pinterest and Tumblr, and like I said, we're all over the place. But something was missing, and it was that access. We wanted to get fans into the inner circle. That's where sports teams win, and really business in general. I mean, if I think about some of the organizations I've worked with, really getting people integrated into your brand is most important. Sports, it's crucial. You have to. So we turned to Google+. Plus. And here's some of the, the different things that we have seen to bring the on-court product, it's a product, closer to our consumer. Okay, so the photo and video integration is seamless and beautiful. I think that's one of the first things I really liked about Google+. Plus. We shoot anywhere from 6,000 to 8,000 photos a game, per game, um, of which we take 10 of the best to put on Google+. Plus. Um, we shoot um, around five hours of video, uh, including pre-game and post-game. So the video and photo integration of Google Plus is great. It's beautiful. The Hangouts on Air give fans a direct channel of access to their own. So like I said, if you're a media member, you can get a media pass, come to Target Center, things like that. What, what Google Hangouts on Air, we were the first, well, I'll bring that up in a second, but basically a reporter asked a player, uh, you know, you guys moved to a 2-3 zone defense, how do you think that affected the game? We have fans on and they ask Ricky Rubio, what, what's your favorite color? I think that's awesome, because that's what fans want to know. Hey, where's your favorite place to eat? 
Those are things reporters don't ask. So we're giving, through Google+, Plus, fans direct access to players. Strong SEO results. Um, our traffic from Google+, Plus has continually gone up since last June. Because again, we're all in on it. I'll show some examples of why we're all in on it. Um, every single month since June 2012, our traffic has increased from the Google Plus platform. Uh, just to give you an idea of the number of people in our circles, uh, I think we're around 7,000 for the Timberwolves, and that's low. A lot of teams in the NBA have, like the Lakers, have 200,000, but they're the Lakers. Uh, the Lynx, um, anybody want to leverage a guess? 600. Mm. Uh, 20,000. 28,000. Yeah. 20,000. So the Lynx were the first WNBA team to be on Google Plus. It was right after we won the championship. So we were a big brand. We got in bed with Google. They helped us out a little bit. They put us in some circles of recommended circles to follow. So we added about, yeah, I think 28,000. Right. Might even be higher than that. Uh, ability to have a small focus screen. So, again, we heard it earlier, kind of a ghost town. Actually, I think we use that to our advantage. So I'm a big fan of growth is incremental. Google Plus is perfect for this. Jump into Facebook now, you've already got you know, 100,000 fans or how many ever your business has got. Google Plus, you can start from zero. You can really shape and mold the platform to be what you want it to be uh, right away. So we use this to our advantage. We started the Tier Rolls 1 last June. We had zero circles, right? So we created the experience that we wanted. And then as fans came in, and I'll explain very shortly how we're using those fans as they're coming into Google Plus, we're able to do what we wanted with them. So I like starting small and building up. Circles have had a direct relationship with our new business model. Google Plus is not just a social network for us. I'm actually integrating it into our business model. So a very popular thing to do in sports right now is to create a membership model. Um, basically, you're not a season ticket holder anymore. You're not a flex pack holder. You're a member of the organization. Okay, soccer teams have done this for a very long time, been very successful. Google Plus offers us a platform that allows us to shape our business model. I'll show you an example real quick. So how did we grow our circles to be so big? Well, the first thing we did was we took a little bit of a risk and we created just exclusive content just for Google Plus. So we made people go there. Our biggest risk that we took was Ricky Rubio. A year ago at this time, he was recovering from knee surgery. Everybody wanted to see Ricky Rubio. Everybody wanted to see pictures of him. Everybody wanted to see video of him. So what we did was we decided that any footage of Ricky Rubio, any photos, we were going to put exclusively at Google Plus. If you want to go see him, you have to go to our Google Plus page to see it. So that's an example right there at the bottom left, uh, an exclusive behind the scenes photo of Ricky Rubio working out. We know that there's key content in our organization, things that get high amounts of traffic. It's three things. Number one, Ricky Rubio. Number two, Kevin Love. Anybody want to take a guess what number three is? Lindsay. Dancers. <laughs> yeah. And we use that to our advantage. We'll put exclusive dancer content up on Google Plus, and we get just about every male from age 16 to 38 over there. Uh, so those are the three pieces of content that we leverage. So understanding what content's valuable to your organization and get your fans to go there. We didn't show that stuff on Facebook. We told people on Facebook it was over at Google Plus. We went live with Google Plus Hangouts on Air. We were the first team in the NBA to hold a, a Hangout on Air. Brandon Roy, no longer with our organization, he was our first ever Hangout. Um, very successful last year. Uh, since then, we've done probably a dozen. We did one with Kevin Love. We did one on Media Day where we talked to a whole bunch of different players, we brought different players in at different times, and it kind of had a two-hour Hangout. Fans got to come in, ask their own questions outside of the media. A uh, huge success. Since then, many, many NBA teams have joined on. Uh, the Phoenix Suns do a really good job with their hangouts. We just started a hangout series um, with the Lynx, sponsored by Medica. So now we're bringing in sponsorship elements. Uh, we just had our first one with Rebecca Brunson. We're talking with the Kevin Love one, we had over 2,000 viewers live on the on air hangout. That video has been viewed tens of thousands of times since then on YouTube. So uh, Hangouts on Air, crucial to our strategy. Here's a little bit, uh, I think this is the last thing I got to talk about. 
circles are a perfect match for our membership model. So what we're doing is um, the senior leadership team challenges the whole organization with, okay, you know, we can sell someone a season ticket and we can sit them in row three, center court, okay? Um, but what's, what's the added value that we can give them? So from a technology standpoint, from a digital standpoint, I was tasked with what can we deliver online that's unique, that we can segment out to our audience. So what we do is when we have season ticket members come into Google Plus and they circle us, we add them to very specific circles. Here's just an example. Silver Elite season ticket holder. So that's a, that's a certain block of the arena where people have purchased season tickets. That circle will get its own content, separate from every other circle, separate from public posts, and we're trying to train our users that, hey, because you're a silver elite, if you go to Google+, Plus, you get exclusive content that nobody else is going to see, just specifically to your, your membership package. So what we've essentially did is we've layered Google+, Plus on top of our business model, and we're going to continue to find new ways to do it. So the, the number one thing that keeps me awake at night Never stressed like this before, where I'm competing with 29 other teams, and I'm competing with about 200 other pro teams in America. What are we gonna to do to bring the in arena experience to your screens, and how are we gonna take the people's screens and give them a reward in arena? That answer is probably gonna be Google Glass, be a big part of it. We're working with Google right now on a special program that'll bring Glass to Target Center. Uh, can't share too many details around that, but we're definitely working with them. They're interested in getting crunch fitted for a set of Google Glass. So we're, we're toying with the idea of how do we bring the entering experience to your screen. So just real quick wrap up how we're benefiting from it. Engaging content stream for fans. Double digit percentage growth in web traffic. So I'm talking month over month. Our percentages are growing by double digits. Okay. We get roughly 25 to 30 million page views every 12 months. Very small percentage at Google Plus, we're trying to grow that every month. Thousands of participants in the Hangouts. More intimate connection with fans. Again, I think the smaller network is more valuable and it shapes with their business model. That's all I got for you. Thank you.